107.5 WBLS, your number one source for R&B. You know what? Of course, we've got to ask first. How's Luna Legend? Luna's doing great. She's here in New York with oh. me, and we're having a good trip. Yes. And uh, you know what? I it's always, good to be back. I wanted to always ask you, why did you name her Luna? Well, we have been going through a lot of names. We had eventually decided that Simone was going to be her middle name after Nina Simone, mm. who's one of my favorite artists. Mm -hmm. And um, part of it was just trying to find the right first name to go with the middle name that we had already picked out right. and Luna just felt right uh, we we're both kind of people of the night uh, Chrissy and I we, we're like night people <laughs> and right that just just the energy of the word Luna just felt right, right. Uh, Luna means the moon and uh, you know what was crazy was and right it after light to the night yes exactly and what was crazy and I didn't even put it all together because I was already thinking about darkness and light as the name of my album and then she's literally the light in the darkness as the moon and uh the song that happened to be playing right when she was born, because I was playing songs on my computer, just keeping the mood right. going in the room. Mm -hmm. And the song that was playing was Superfly by Curtis Mayfield. Are you and kidding me? And the first me? line of that song is, darkness of night with the moon shining bright. And Are you kidding we me? We got an album titled Darkness and Light. The baby's <laughs> name is Luna. It just all worked out. the name of the album is Darkness. It was meant to be. And light. It sure is, honey. Mm -hmm. Just the energy just yes. keeps moving in a real positive yeah. direction. So now we've got Darkness and Light. And is this uh, reminiscent of like maybe a slow and a fast side? or No, you know, I, I, it's not separate parts of the album. Okay. One is Darkness, one is Light. I think actually in... Individual songs, darkness and light, are part of the themes of of, of the same song. Right, of because, every song. Yeah, well, I I don't know if every song has that, but I think in general in life, you know, there's uncertainty, there's pain, there's trouble, yeah. and we're trying to find light and trying to find love and joy in the midst of that. And so I think that's what the songs are about. Mm. What song? Well, just let's start with darkness and light. Yeah. You know what? What was the inspiration behind that? Well, that song features um, Brittany Howard from the Alabama Shakes, who's an incredible singer. And uh, actually, the producer I chose to work with on this album name is uh, Blake Mills. And I chose to work with him based on listening to the Alabama Shakes album and loving his work with them. And so part of the inspiration was just listening to the music they did and wanting to do something that was kind of influenced by that. And then we reached out to Brittany to get involved as, as a wow. duet. And it's about, it's a really sexy song. It's about two people who might be different in certain ways, but their chemistry kind of causes an explosion. Really? It's exciting. Similar to Chrissy <laughs> and John, I'm sure. What I want to do, too, is talk about your phenomenal uh, performances on Lip Sync Battle. You are <laughs> truly, really, I've been really robbed good. twice on Lip Sync I Battle. Know, it's not right. It's not thing. right. Oh, you I did. Like I did. Hey, y'all. Uh, <laughs> I did. Uh, you can't touch was, this. And you brought out the big gun, Stevie I brought out Wonder. Stevie. I couldn't compete with, with Michael Phelps because he had just won the Olympics and he did the whole American flag thing and America yeah. voted for Michael Phelps. I understand you can't fight right. America. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know. You Man, know, we killed it. Yes, you did. <laughs> you really, really did. And I felt bad that you didn't get it. But, That's you know, all right. keep, keep trying. I don't know if I'm doing it again. I'm, I said I'm tired of oh, losing. Oh, no, John. Tired One of more it. time. Three times a charm, <laughs> they say. Uh, but, you know, Stevie, speaking of Stevie, you played Stevie in American Dream. I'm hearing. Yeah, many years ago. Yeah, yes. That was back in, like, 05. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, and then I hear you're going to play Frederick Douglass. In yes, we um we just shot that a, a a few weeks ago. We have the show Underground that's on WGN yeah, America, which, which awesome. we produce, and uh, the uh, the writers of the show asked me to come in and, and cameo as Frederick Douglass. So I went down to Savannah, Georgia, <laughs> and, and did my little thing. <laughs> and so, is this a sign of you moving in that direction? Or well, no, I'm in a new movie. It's called La La Land. I um, heard about that. So I that was my first major speaking role in a, in a film, and. Uh, so, and you're playing a character. Yeah, I'm playing a, a character named Keith, um, and he's a band leader. He's a musician. And uh, Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone are the stars of the movie. And uh, Ryan's character is a pianist, and he plays in my band for a while. Mm -hmm. And so part of his journey is trying to figure out which direction his career wants to go. And I represent one direction, and then another direction is him being more of a traditional jazz artist. Right. And I was surprised that you weren't in Southside. But yeah, but I put I wrote a song for Southside with you, uh -huh. and we produced it as well. Yeah, the phenomenal movie as well. Thank so you. You're doing some great things. Thank and, you. Uh, one of the interns in the room, I asked her if she can ask you any question. Um, she 
wanted she said that she would want to ask you about your philanthropic work yeah um and how and what are you putting in place for 2017 as we get ready to move in to this new year with the new president so we have a couple of things and it's not dependent on who's the president because uh we were doing this when barack obama was president but we're going to continue to do it uh first of all we have free america which is all about ending mass incarceration mm -hmm. and uh now that we have a president in place who I think might disagree with us on some of these things, I think mm -hmm. it's incumbent on us. And I think us. that's what she meant. Yes, it's incumbent on us to do even more to make sure we're raising our voice on behalf of those who are, are victims of the criminal justice system mm -hmm. and, and, and need our advocacy. So we're going to continue to do that. And then uh, we also fight to improve our schools and make sure that our kids have the best educational options available and we're going to continue to do that and a lot of those things happen on the state and local level anyway right. so it's not really about who's president even though they have some impact and some leadership role in that but a lot of it is changing laws locally changing laws uh, on a state level and so we're going to continue to do that continue to fight and continue to speak on on behalf of those who 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 may not be heard otherwise. You just celebrated your wife's birthday. Yes, and I'm uh, next, Capricorn. Yes, indeed, because you're the day before me. That's how <laughs> oh, I always remember. Oh, that's right, the 28th. So how do you plan on spending your birthday this year? Um, we're going to be down in St. Bart's because I'm performing down there for New Year's Eve. And uh, Is so that open to the public? Can people um, come down there I think people can you? buy tickets. And oh, then I'm, 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 in, I'm in the Bahamas uh, the day before at the Atlantis. So if you can't go to the one in St. Bart's, you definitely can buy tickets to the one in the Bahamas. Right, and that'll be your gift to John Legend. Or yes. you can just pick up the album. Or just buy the album. Right, Darkness and Light, and that'll be uh, your gift to him. Uh, so what song, you know, because what I found that was surprising to me when I came to see you in concert, I didn't realize how much you were the up and dancing brother. In the, you know, <laughs> <laughs> well, I think people hear the biggest singles and it's Ordinary People and it's All of Me. And they think that whole show is going to be a bunch of piano ballads. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we have a range of songs. If you if anybody that has my albums knows. Right. And so uh, we play the whole range, right. you know, the repertoire. If, if there was an up-tempo party song that you could remake and do it justice, what song would that well, be? I think uh, Got to Give Gotta It Up give is it a up, good one. Yeah, that yeah. would be a good one. But we do, we do uh, some Curtis. We do like um, Move On Up. We do that when uh, we do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Wow. So are you going to ever try to bring we did some Michael. We did, one of those uh, characters to scream like you, you did Stevie Wonder? You know, I've always wanted to do a Marvin thing, but I, I saw uh, Jamie was doing something on television, uh, so we'll see what happens. Well, you know what? Yeah, because he's executive producing. Yeah, that doesn't so, mean he's starring. Yeah, that's true. We'll so see what you happens. So you know, he might cast you. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so from the album. The beautiful video that Thank we you. saw that Luna stars in. Yeah, she's a star. She steals the show. <laughs> yes, she does. But um, tell us, tell everybody where they can see that video. Cause they I know can see it on Vivo, see it, on, see it anywhere that plays videos, but you could definitely see it on YouTube and Vivo. And uh, yeah, I we wanted to go all around the world and, and, and show how love is universal and right. music is universal. And of course, we feature my family, but we feature families from all over the world, right. too. And speaking of love and darkness and light, you know, I wanted on behalf of everyone who is in listening distance, uh, for you to please tell Kanye that we're praying for him. Yes, thank you. This is you. a God-fearing and uh, 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 definitely a, a faithful bunch of people here yes. that listen to BLS. And well, thank you. I, I'm sure he appreciates that, and uh, we're all hoping he um, gets the rest he needs and gets the healing that he needs, and uh, we're, we're all rooting for him. Yeah, well, I'm sure that as long as he keeps you around, he'll have that light that he needs to get through. Well, thank you. John Legend, Darkness and Light. Thanks the for album having is me. available now on iTunes. Get it right now as a gift to this brother. Happy early birthday too. Thank you. Woo! You too. Yeah!